Hey, good morning. It's Edna Keep here for Mindset Monday. Today we're going to have a bit of a special call because I'm going to talk. Uh, we, ha we had our mastermind this weekend. And I want to talk about the power of, uh, of who you choose to spend your time with. So stick around for that. And, uh, and uh, if you have any questions, of course, please type them in because I love to hear from you. Uh, one of the things that... Um, different uh, famous people have said over the years is you are the average net worth of the people you spend the most time with and that includes the the books you read as well as the uh, courses you take uh, and 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 just generally the people you hang around with and so one one of the things that um, that I want you to do as an exercise is write down the names of the five people that you spend the most time with and then start figuring it out. You know, you, you've all had access to the Find the Money uh, uh, spreadsheet. I think you have, and, and if not, it's, it's not that important. But, but figure out uh, what roughly the net worth is of the people that you spend the most time with and, and the kind of conversations that you have. Because if you're talking about other people, uh, that that's probably uh, the the lowest uh, conversation lowest conversation denomination uh, uh, what do they say if you're talking about other people um, you're in the lowest denomination if you're talking about uh, a present present stuff you're you're in the middle denomination and if you're talking about ideas and and what the future is going to look like that you're you're in the the growing group uh, or the mind growing group. So think about that when, when you're hanging around with people. What types of conversations do you have? Do you talk about the future? Do you talk about uh, the past? Uh, do you talk about other people? Uh, or do you talk about uh, the things that excite you and, and the things that you want to do with your life? And uh, and again, like I said, I want, I want to talk a bit about the power of the mastermind. Because you know, Napoleon Hill in the book, Think and Grow Rich, that was one of the things that uh, that he pointed out as as a really big deal was the power of the mastermind. Uh, now that mastermind could be a you and your spouse, could be you and a best friend, could be you and a business partner, or it could be you with a group of people. So with us, it's a group of people. I believe we had 16 people there this weekend. And it's just powerful being in a space like that because uh, ideas are generated, uh, problems are solved, uh, challenges are discussed, you know, stuff like that. And there wasn't one person that walks out of there saying that they don't feel way more energized than they went in. And that's the, that, that's the thing too. And, and I've been part of mastermind or coaching programs for, well, um, almost 20 years, I think 18 years. And that's, that was always my thing. Like I just felt so much more energized than, you know, say taking a weekend off to go partying with friends. You know, uh, we all need some relaxation and stuff like that. But being around people like that is, is what energizes me to, to do more, to have more, to be more as a person. And, and this group is just amazing. Like, uh, one of the members had missed uh, the last, well, basically the last one she'd been at was six months ago. So we, we generally have them uh, every quarter. And uh, she had missed because she spends part of her year away. And uh, at about a third of the way through the first day, she says, because we, we do different exercises and people are presenting and stuff like that. And she says, man, you know what I have, have been so impressed with today? is the growth that I've seen in the room just in the six months I've been away. And she's been part of the mastermind now going on three years. And and so that that was pretty exciting for me. I did tell her, I said that, you know what, that was really the highlight of my day because, you know, we're in the midst of it every day. Uh, I'm dealing with students every day. We're talking uh, just about every day. So I see what they're working on. And to me, it's like um, incremental growth, you know? But she said it was absolutely amazing for, for one thing to see that uh, a couple of the young guys in the group didn't have a building last October. And now they have 36 doors 
uh, so and and you know when we think about it, yeah, that was less than six months, and it, and and less than a full year of working with me. But you know what? That that's what happens when you have power of intention, and you're working with a group of people on who know how to get this kind of stuff done. And nobody's doing it by themselves. There's not one person in the group that has went out and bought an apartment building all by themselves. They've joint ventured within the group. They've joint ventured with, with investors that were in place already. They've joint ventured with each other and things are happening. Um, even even George, who's been in the in the group also for three years, even in the last six months, he's had huge growth in his business, and some of it is just a mindset shift, a mindset shift about what is possible, and then just going for it. So that that is something that again I challenge you guys. If you're not having the results that you think you should be having in your life. Consider who you're hanging around with. Consider who you're spending your most time with. And then realize that that, uh, that the best person in your group is probably the best you can even hope to be like in the next five or 10 years. So how can I change that? How can you change the people that you're spending the most time with? Well, you know, uh, it, it doesn't have to be uh, my mastermind. It, it could be a mastermind that you set up yourselves. But just know that you wanna be attracting people to your mastermind who are better than you in certain areas of, of your life, that, that are doing more than, than you've been able to accomplish on your own. Uh, I think it was, it was said in, in uh, the Think and Grow Rich book, we were talking a lot about Henry Ford yesterday and how at one time the um, uh, city officials or government officials got together and they said, you're not even, I guess he was uh, next thing to illiterate. And so they were saying, you're not even that smart. Like how, how is it that you're running these uh, multi-million dollar corporations there? You know, you're, you're not even that, that smart. And, and uh, he, they, they were testing him. They were asking him questions like, who's the vice president? Who's the president? You know, all these questions. And he goes, I see these three buttons on my phone? And they go, yeah. And he says, I don't need to know that because I have people on my team that need to know that wherever it's relevant. And so that, that's the challenge that, that you need to do for yourself is build that team. You know, when we talk about, um, you know, building your power team within your real estate uh, investment world, make them people that you look up to. Uh, get people to deal with who can help you with those deals, help you think bigger, help you think differently, and, and maybe build your own mastermind. Uh, you know, there, there's, they said that Thomas, or um, uh, Henry Ford never really got to massive successes till he started hanging around with people like Thomas Edison and uh, Mr. Firestone, I can't remember the first name. And anyway, other really brilliant people that helped him think differently. So if, if you can get around people that can help you think differently, it's amazing. You know, you, you get presented more opportunities, you get, uh, you get bigger opportunities, and because, you know, you, you may be fearful in one spot and not fearful in another, that's another of, of a mastermind. If you've got a group of people working together, it takes away some of that fear uh, and, 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 and makes it, you know, it, it's so much easier to buy a building when you're, when you're partnering with two or three people that have already been there and bought a building. So much easier than trying to do it all by yourself. I don't care what anyone says. When we started, we would not have had the massive growth that we did without uh, partnering with people who already had some success. As, as groups of other people, um, we, we just were able to exponentially grow that we couldn't have did if we were Lone Rangers. So uh, just know that uh, and, and be willing to, to be open to it because I know there's a lot of people out there, they maybe got shafted by a partner or they don't work well in partner settings or, or maybe they're not even the type of person that would ever be invited to a mastermind. Well, think about that. Why, what, what value do you bring to a mastermind? Because you know what, it's not all about what you get out of the group. It's also what you give. 
And, you know, I, I, I screen my, my people who come into my mastermind and I have them fill out an application form. I didn't, didn't always do that. I got to know people uh, before I invited them to the mastermind when I first started. But now I actually have a screening process. And one of my screening processes is uh, people going through my 90 day to 5k program. And why is that? Well, if you can't complete a 12 week program, uh, you're probably not somebody I want on my team. If you can't take the time to learn uh, that part and have some success with it, you're probably not a person that I want on my team. If it takes you three years to get the 90 day to 5k program done, that's probably not a deal breaker. I realize that people are busy and they uh, they have other things going on in their lives and, and I don't mind. Uh, I, I'm still waiting for a few students that I have my eye on that I think that would be great mastermind members, but you know what, they're just not there yet. Um, uh, some are just because they have, they've only just started the 90 day to 5K program and they haven't finished, but even in their first sets of homework, I start to see a personality come through on whether it's a person I want to deal with continuously or not. Um, and, uh, and, and, and the other thing too is it, it's not always 100% indicative because some people don't like to write. And I realize that too. I'm actually one of those people. I, I don't like to write. But uh, that's why I invite people to fill out an uh, application and I invite people to discuss things with me two or three times throughout the 90 day to 5k program because that's really how I get to know people and and wonder and, and get to know and figure out if there's somebody who could add value to the mastermind and if we can add value too because you know maybe there's people out there who are further ahead than, than we are uh, maybe it wouldn't be the, the best mastermind for them. Uh, and, and I can get to know that too. Or if people are just takers and not givers. I, I don't want people who are just going to come in and say, hey, what can I get out of this group? I want people to come in with what can I give to this group? Because givers gain. Uh, you, oops, I went to the wrong webinar. Here I am. <laughs> Hi, Harry. What webinar did you go to? <laughs> did you go to the uh, the uh, module four of the of the mindset course? That's funny. Anyway, so uh, that that's that's my mastermind. They're they're absolutely amazing people. They're people I could have dinner with. I can have a glass of wine with. I can just enjoy being around. And and they're all in growth mode. Nobody's in that group going. You know, I just, uh, yeah, I just want to show up and, and uh, yeah, maybe learn something. Everybody's there to learn something. Everybody's there to give as much as they get. So, uh, like I said, if it's time for you to set up your own mastermind or join one, think about that because that that's that's what you have to be able to offer to a mastermind is, is not just what I can get out of it, but what I can give also. I'm just going to say uh, good morning to everyone. We're about halfway through. I do have another appointment right after, so I do want to be done right at uh, at 10.30. But hey, good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Minaj. Good morning, Connie. Good morning, Dave. Uh, good morning, Terry. Uh, good morning, Tyler. You're uh, awake bright and early after uh, a long weekend. Good morning, Sasha. Good morning, Logan. Good morning, Bev. Good morning, John. Good morning, Harry. And good morning, Sandra. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, I got some great people joining me here. Does, does anyone have any questions or comments about what they've noticed uh, by changing the people that they hang around with? You know, I remember our very first three-day event that I put on, and I looked out into the audience, and I went, you know, there's one, maybe two people in the audience that I'd hung around with before uh, I got into real estate. But the majority of the people in the room were all people I just got to know uh, since I got into real estate. So, you know, have you noticed a shift in your friends? Have you noticed a shift uh, or have you noticed a stagnation in your friends? Uh, have you noticed uh, that you're the average of the net worth of the five people you spend the most time with? Have you noticed that you're you're the average of the attitude of the five people you spend the most time with? 
Does that make sense to you? I know I know it is. If you're hanging around with a bunch of people who whine and complain all the time, uh, and you might think, well, I don't whine and complain that much. But you know what? Even just listening to it draws you down. I, I know that. It, it drains me to listen to people whine and complain about whatever it happens to be. Uh, Harry says, I have an investment opportunity of investing in a condo unit uh, at $149,000 a unit is located in a local area built in the last 10 years. And is there a question to that, Harry? Or, uh, or are you just, um, is, that, is that for yourself or is that for someone else? And, I, and Harry says, I sure noticed how it changed my view on a lot of things. And, and I'm assuming you mean by, uh, by hanging around with different people. Is that right? And, and do some people notice that they have family members that it's really hard to hang around with because you just don't like to listen to uh, what's going on in, the, in their lives because they can only talk about certain things, they can only whine and complain about certain things and, and uh, they can only view the bad things, they never talk about the good things that happen to them. Do people have challenges like that? Yes, yeah, yeah. You know what, I think we all do. And you know, and there's some people we can avoid entirely. Uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, there's some people that have family members that just think they're absolutely out to lunch by trying to build a, a, a real estate portfolio. And, and why haven't you made money at it when you've only been in it a year? You're putting out more money than you're putting in. Well, you know, we actually talked about that this weekend because uh, there, there are people in the room that have been buying real estate for over 30 years. And they, they, it's kind of a delayed gratification thing like we talked about last week. They've delayed their gratification. Um, I know one of the stories, uh, and, and I just love this story, she started buying real estate when she was 35 and became uh, a, a single mom because she, she was divorced. And, and she just thought, you know, with what I'm doing, I'm a realtor, there's no pension. Um, I need to build up my own pension plan and she just went ahead and started doing it back in, in the day when, when not too many people were and she's a very, very successful lady. And she says, you know, it, it may seem like a long time before you start getting paid on your real estate and, and, and other people will say the same thing, but it is a great long-term wealth builder. It may not pay you today, unless, you know, unless there's different ways, of course, that you can make it happen that you, that you get paid today. Uh, but refinancing your buildings in the future is, is a really nice payday. Uh, and, and you know what I notice is most people don't sit back and just say, hey, I'm going to spend this money. For some reason, they're still looking for ways to make it grow, which I think is really cool. Uh, because, it, uh, it, again, a thing that I hear a lot is it's not all about me. You know what? I, I can help a lot of people, and that's something that I want to continue doing. So uh, where are you in that thought process? Are you in the thought process? that I and I know a lot of people are because I've heard comments from you before that uh, you'd really like to help other people um, and as I always say you know what you have to help yourself first uh, <clears throat> I've known many parents who give every single thing they got to their kids because they want their kids to have a better life well first of all I don't believe in taking away all your kids challenges because it helps them grow I honestly believe that every challenge I've ever went through in my life has helped me become the person I am today and uh, and and the challenges I still have today are the ones that are carrying me forward so I don't want to take away my kids challenges but I, I want them to be confident that they can handle those challenges I feel like that's a number one goal of mine as a parent is to uh, build confident uh, daughters who feel like they can uh, do anything and get over any hump and and there's nothing that would knock them down and keep them on their ass for the rest of their life. You know, that that's, that's where I think a parent has power, not giving them everything, not making them lunch every day, not, you know, doing all the work for them every day. It's, it's about building uh, confidence in them. And uh, if, you ha if you disagree with me, I'd, I'd be open to talking about that too. Uh, Harry says, I received a call to purchase a condo and I'm trying to make sense of purchasing a residential property versus buying inside of a condo unit instead. Harry, I think you were going to book a call with me and is that something, that's probably something we should talk about as opposed to trying to do it on here because um, 
most of the time with anything it is it's a personal decision on, on and, and we need to talk about your long-term goals and stuff like that a good friend of mine called me this morning and and these are the conversations that I, that I have with my friends too she's got a rental unit she's got a tenant that's not great but they wanna you know do some work on her house and I go you know what if they're already not a great tenant think about that uh, if, if they already did some partial stuff in your house and they didn't fix it properly think about that you give them free reign on stuff like that there's a very good chance they're gonna cost you more money than uh, than they're gonna save you uh, so no I wouldn't be giving them a break on rent and if you if you do allow them to do some work you monitor it every single day uh, and you, you watch for the progress that needs to be made because uh, you can't just give free reign I, I know I've seen people do that before people have said well you know what just um, just let me live here for <coughs> less rent and I'll do this this and this and people think that that's a good trade but you know what it's not always a good trade so I've seen people make huge messes of people's houses by giving them that um, we had a guy just recently who uh, is familiar with windows he was a tenant moving into a property and we do have one uh, house that doesn't have great windows and we've been thinking about replacing them but it was just never never a big issue but with them he said well you know what I I'm good at doing that I, I wouldn't mind doing it if you guys would buy the windows and we can talk about a break would you give us a break on rent and, and I said no we won't give you a break on rent but you can invoice us for what you did and we're gonna monitor it so we'll buy the windows uh, and we want to make sure that when you do one window we get to see what that window looks like before you move on to a second one because it's just something that you have to monitor monitor every single day uh, so uh, so I hope you got value out of that I, I really think that we are the average of the people we spend the most time with so really pay attention to that who do I spend the most time with and uh, and how could I change it if I'm not happy with that is there room for me to grow who's somebody I'd like to learn from um, I, I get reached out to quite often from people who will, who will say uh, me maybe meet me at a meeting or something I say I'd just like to have coffee with you and just see you know what what's going on what you got going on that that's a powerful way to meet some people that you could maybe do some business with eventually or, or even just uh, connect with some of them some of those people some of my clients over the years have got to be some of my best friends because we especially when we're first dealing together we spend a lot of time together you know you got a million dollar portfolio there's a lot of stuff to be done inside of that especially the first year and you get to know those people really well and some of them really really do become your friends so you'll find that with real estate investing as well is is some of your investors will become good friends of yours and you know some of them are just on a different uh, you know plane in life maybe they're really successful business owners don't have time to be purchasing real estate but understand the value of it well there's there's lessons that they can teach you when it comes to uh, to business building too so that's one thing in the mastermind is so much of the stuff we talk about is not a hundred percent real estate it's about growing yourself as a person and growing your business whatever it happens to be because of course there's there's some people who have more than one business maybe it's a, a day job maybe it's a, a, another business that they run and, and they're just lo learning how to be more efficient and everything else so uh, many many benefits to uh, hanging around with the right people uh, one of the quotes I would want to live uh, leave you with is uh, and, and I can't even remember who it's by so if anybody knows just let me know but it's you can't fly with the Eagles if you scratch with the turkeys <laughs> so if you want to be uh, someone who's flying with the Eagles then look around at the people you're hanging hanging with and make some changes okay have a really good day everyone I didn't have many for questions today so I hope that uh, I hope that by listening you're you're getting good value out of this and we'll talk to you all next Monday same time same place uh, if you have any special topics that you want to talk about shoot them out to me and uh, and we can answer them um, and uh, if not I will see you on free coaching Friday uh, sorry we missed uh, last week uh, what was I doing last week oh you know what I had to yeah I had a meeting that I just couldn't miss and it was a last minute one so I, I wasn't able to do it and uh, I, I thought there had been a notice sent out on the Facebook group but I, it didn't sound like everybody got it so my apologies and I will be there this Friday so everybody have a fantastic week make it a fantastic week and we'll talk to you next Monday bye for now